What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network for Week 18 of the Omnipoke Online Play League. I'll be playing against uh, Zapdos TCG this week. We're playing normal standard format. I'm going to be queuing up with Picarom, Luke Metal, and Centiscorch VMAX. Uh, three decks that um, I haven't played the Centiscorch list yet in Players Cup 3 quals, but I have played Picarom and Luke Metal for Players Cup 3 qualifier events. Um, so it looks like we'll be winning the coin flip. We're playing peak, so we'll say no. Good luck to Zapdos TCG. Shouts out to PoTownStore.com. Best place to get PTCGO codes. Use code CLEO for 5% off. Shouts out Zapdos TCG. And of course, Omnipoke for running this league. Okay, we're playing against Eternatus first, and I'm not playing the double Yelgrunt version of Pika Rob. I considered testing that out today, but I've just been rocking with uh, the same Pika Rom list I had in my YouTube video a little over a week ago. Possibly even two weeks ago at this point. I realized my camera is a bit off center today, <laughs> but I uh, had it centered for something else. We'll be all good. Okay, so Zapdos, Joshua over here, starting with the cap energy on Etern, double Krogonk, playing the poison version of Eternatus. Perfect. We get an energy. Very, very nice. Um, our best chance of surviving against an Eternatus is a big charmed Mewtwo. Of course, they're playing the poison version, so maybe just nothing survives against Eternatus. Um, I think we're going to Marnie this turn, so let's ditch the research. And we're going to grab the mute too, since we do have the big charm. And energy goes to Bolt Ton, of course. We'll also balloon to Bolt Ton. And then Marnie. Okay. Could be worse, I think. Maybe not. This actually isn't... This is pretty bad, actually. Because Mewtwo doesn't even have anything to copy. Yeah, so this is actually pretty, pretty not good. Hmm. Hopefully that Marnie messed up my opponent a little bit. Oh, it is not looking like that is the case. Okay, Marnie, that's cool. That's cool, because we need better cards in our hand. The speed energy is not helping if the bolt tongue gets knocked out. Oh, better. Much better. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. Um... I think it's good to have one lightning Pokemon down for the speed energy purposes, but no, we'll just bench another Mewtwo. They're not playing power plants, since they're playing Dark City, so the Mewtwo's are good to go. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of Peak. Uh, we'll grab a Crobat first. Attach here so we can full blitz this turn, and we're looking for a boss's order so we can damage the Eternatus. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Um, do we want to do anything else? I don't think so. Okay, very nice.
getting a swell would have been good, but I didn't want to dump my hand just to get swell. Um, I get, the only thing I'd be losing really is reset stamp, but reset stamp's so strong against the Turnitus. Okay, so they just need Switch to knock out Mewtwo. Switch into uh, Slowbro, Poison, switch back out. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, wait a second. But he doesn't have another Eternatus set up. Oh, okay, this is great then. Yeah, that's definitely an issue for him. We see him attach the Crobat as the secondary attacker, okay. And then knocked out by poison. All right. Setting up Crobat was actually correct here because of the dark city. We'll put this here and research. Hmm. I mean, a reset stamp probably doesn't even hurt them that much here. Why don't we do this? So we need, we need to do 190. And if we have one, two, three, four, five, six on the board, then we'll do that. Okay, so that's fine. So we'll free retreat. Do that. Switch back out. We got six energy, so that's 190 at the old E turn. Okay, nothing else to do, so we'll bolt storm knockout. And he also loses some of his bench because that was his only Eternatus, so we'll probably lose Bat, Bat, Bat. Yeah. All four Bats down, too. Something else to note. So I'm actually in a really good position. Set the poison energy to eat turn. Okay. 
So just poison on Bolton. We're in a really good position here. Um, we're going to Dedenne look for Eldegoss. We get boss. I'm not going to play the basic lightning because we have speed lightning in our deck. That's crushing hammer. Tails will also reset stamp while we're here. We'll just switch out into the bat since it has free retreat with Dark City. And yeah, we'll do that, eh? Okay, we got Eldegoss, so that feels pretty good. We can swing 220 with Bolt Ton now. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we knocked this out, and I think that's just game. Bring up the Deden. Okay. And we have Switch. Alright, GG. And I will, uh... I, don't, I won't even ask if he wants to go first or second. He can just tell me when we start the next one. Alright, so GG, that's game one. My, uh, Pikaram is down with a win and we also have scent of scorch and look metal um i think we'll go with senti next let me just make sure this is the correct scent of scorch i'm playing alex shamansky's uh list that he has grinded to first place in the players cup rankings with yeah so we're good i wonder if mr zapdos will bring the same deck again if so, it's a poor matchup for me. If not, then uh, we'll have to see what he's playing. Okay, he's going second. So would I like to go first? Yes. Well, he knows. He knows I've got Senti over here. Oh, okay, Blounds. Okay, a little Blown action. Little blown action, eh? Ooh, not not great. Okay, so we'll get a scenty, a little scenty, a little scorcher. I feel like turn one energy would be pretty dope. And I honestly don't want to get rid of that reset stamp. I don't want to get rid of the stamp, but that's probably just going to happen eventually. Okay, so this is this is good. This is good. We get turn one energy. We have energy for Wilder next turn. Um, I could quick ball out a Jirach but I don't know if I need to get that right now. The Senti is probably good to have. Um, do I need Senti? No, probably. I probably don't need it, but eventually I want to put it out because I want him to knock out a Senta Scorch, then a Heat Tran, then another Senta Scorch. We'll hold on to it for now. I don't see a rush to bench it. All right, so he's playing Spinner Blown. The Fidget Spinner Blown. Oh, great catcher, bringing up the heat. Gusting the heater up. Oh, 
welder to Rashi looking for switch maybe or maybe they already have it who knows bottom line is we are potentially losing the heater here yeah there's scoop up that so we're losing the heater Welder to the top of the deck. Double blaze to Hundo on the Heatran. Really, really solid start for my opponent here. Uh, we just send up Senti. We're going in here. All right, we got the Den. Uh, we have Welder. I think we... We no, actually we don't need the welder, just one energy. Because we have enough to attack with. Um But what's the difference between one energy and two on this? Probably honestly not even a lot because we don't want to hit them for more because that means they can use outrage for more damage. So I think we want to just attach the one energy potentially. So yeah, we'll just attach the one here. That is a that's probably just fine. Um We'll stamp from six to four. Do we have energy in the discard yet? We don't have energy in the discard yet. Eh, but that means we only need one more energy next turn to knock this out. I'm not worried about knocking it out. We'll poke a calm to den. We could always get it back with quick ball if we need it. Senti V Max. And uh, swing 120. Oh, wait, no, my bad. We, oh, yeah, we only need one more energy. I was correct. Yeah. We just need to swing 160 next turn. So, not a big deal. This Malolana is really tempting. I'm not sure if it's the move though. So they swing 230. We heal down to 110. And then that means they can't knock us out with the cram and they need more energy with a blown. It's really tempting. But, um, yeah, we can only do it if we had a crow back because we would have to quick ball draw up and then Melolana. So we, on it, we actually cannot do it right here. We would need uh, to hit Eldegoss after the Dene and have like a perfect situation. So if we have a perfect situation after the Dene, uh, which we won't because Eldegoss is prized, question mark? Yeah, prized. Okay, so yeah, Malolana Dream is over. Rip the Malolana Dream. Okay, let's see what we could do here. Um, Probably not much, just take the knockout and move on um so we got attach we got this the issue of course is they can just knock us out with cramorant they can just knock out the volcano with cramorant so they might just win next turn um quick ball for for jirachi but is that better than quick ball oh no wait we can scoop up not the volcano but that doesn't matter because then we still have the denny on the board they still have a knockout with cram no matter what so we take knockout
We hold that quick ball for Dedenne. There's Aldegoss. But that doesn't matter now. Okay, they're not down a lot of resources at all. So I think they're using Cram to knock out Senti because it's safer than needing extra energy with Blown, I guess. Oh, this is also good because I don't get a knockout on them next turn. Hmm. Okay. There's that. This is exactly where I wish we had the Rushizard, but this this list does have Heatran instead of Rushizard. He also needs to hit Welder. I mean, so he could, he could always whiff Welder. You know, I'm cool with that. That's fine by me if he wants to whiff Welder. Oh, no. We Did we get there? Have I blowned the Blown Master? Wait, oh, wait a second. One energy. You have hearth. Did he already use hearth? I don't know what the frowny is about. Is there no energy? What, what is going on? I didn't think he used hearth. Oh, he did use hearth. He did, he did, he did. Oh, no. He used hearth prior to the den. I... I think that was a sequence, a missequence. I'm almost 100% positive that was a missequence. Okay. Um. What do? What do? Well, hearth. Double fire. And I think we just get the guaranteed welder onto the fresh senti. We'll scoop this up while we can so we have bench space. For more important things um we could just a den like right now actually because i don't need any of this stuff oh no i need welder welder's what i need i'm just gonna grab this he doesn't have any hand disruption anyway so we'll just grab the dene doesn't hurt okay Santaferno knockout mewtwo and then we knock out whatever. Actually, they could play Stamp. Um, Simon, Simon, who was doing well in the Players' Cup three rankings uh, from Canada, can't pronounce his last name, which would just be much a much easier description of who's which Simon I'm talking about. Um, it's like Simon Lacasse, I think. Uh, he's playing Stamp in his Blounds list, I think. Either him or the second place Tempozard. Somebody from my Players Cup ranking video is playing Stamp in their Blown. I think we've done did it here. I think we done diddly did it. Is I go baboosh with either one of my Scent of Scorch V Maxes onto the old Karammer. Yeah, he had to get a knockout of Blown here to stay in the game. 
And it is not... Oh, no. Good golly, Miss Molly. We've got the manual retreat with the crammer. We are wishing now. Ah, oh, no. Okay, we got the 2 0 versus Zapdos. GG's, my friend. He had some pretty rough games there. Um, if you aren't aware of Zapdos TCG, he's been making content longer than I have here on the YouTube. Uh, so please go check him out if you don't already subscribe to his channel. Shouts out to Zapdos for two good games. Sorry about the little bit of rough draws you had there, but it definitely does happen. Uh, shout out OmniPoke for running this league. And uh, shout out PotonStore.com, my lovely sponsor and the best place for you to get PTCGO codes. Be sure to use code CELIO for 5% off. Subscribe to this channel if you have not already for daily Pokemon TCG content. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time here on CELIO's Network.